and welcome to Berwick Mitsubishi. My name's Tim and today we're doing a walk around video of our 2013 MY12 Toyota Land Cruiser Sahara. In this video I'm going to take you around the outside, so I'm going to uh, point out the quality of this vehicle, then we're going to jump inside, run through the interior and some of the engine specs as well. On the front of the car you'll see that it is fitted with this really nice bull bar. I quite like the silver colour, the paintwork is in absolutely fantastic condition from what I can see so far. The sun hitting down on it, you can really see the sparkle in that paint. Contrasting against the matte black bull bar does give it a nice tough look on the front. We do have our colour coded front sensors integrated into our bull bar as well as black and white slimline plates to really finish off the look of the front car as well. With our front camera just located here underneath, underneath that big iconic Toyota badge. As we move around now to the side of the car, we'll see that coming down on the side of the car we do have these really nice brand new Dunlop tyres fitted to the car. You can still see the little uh, stubbles on them and the alloy rim itself is in absolutely fantastic condition. Moving down the side of the car, just trying to see if I can see any marks. There's a couple, just a little bit of paint just there. Uh, looks like a minor blemish might polish out, nothing too serious going on there. Moving down the side of the car, we do have our keyless entry. Nice side step on the bottom as well as a bit of chrome stripping along there and very light uh, scratch you might see just here uh, but that's consistent with the age of the vehicle uh, around this door handle as well just same sort of uh, wear on the door handle nothing too picky there uh, moving down the side of the car our second alloy rim has got minor mark just here otherwise fantastic tread on the tires won't have to worry about that anymore we do have our fuel fill cap just here above that wheel and moving around now to the back of the car we've got our nice big v8 badging and our sahara badging either side this car is already fitted with the tow bar rear parking sensors and rear camera as well when you open up the uh, back of these cars you can even drop down the bottom bit makes it nice and easy to load some stuff in. There are a few marks just in the plastic around here. It had obviously been used to stow some stuff away. Uh, this is the uh, eight, uh, seven seater version, sorry. Um, you do have plenty of room in the back as well. There's a little bit of a gouge just over the back there on the back of the second row of seating, but otherwise in the back here, outside those minor marks, everything else is in absolutely fantastic condition. Closing up the back of the car, we do have an electronic tailgate as well. Just by pressing the button, it will lower itself down. You can see the reverse camera just here underneath the bumper. Moving around now to the passenger side of the car, this is where we'll, we will really see that paint sparkle. Passenger side of the car presents in fantastic condition. Our third premium alloy wheel has got just one tiny little mark there, but once again, consistently all around these tyres have got fantastic tread on them. Moving down the side of the car, nothing too out of the ordinary here. Once again, the chrome strip with a sidestep on the car. This car does have really nice ground clearance and it does have a really nice tough look as well. Stopping at our fourth and final premium alloy wheel, fantastic condition all around, uh, and once again, excellent tread on the tyres. So what we're going to do now, we're going to pop the bonnet and talk a little bit more about the engine specs on this vehicle. Underneath the bonnet of our Land Cruiser Sahara, you will find our 4.5 litre twin turbo V8 diesel engine. This engine is responsible for 195 kilowatts of power and a whopping 650 newton meters of torque. Behind this engine, you will find our six speed sports automatic. And obviously this car is a four, four wheel drive. We don't need to go too much detail into that. This has got a 138 litre diesel tank with an average fuel consumption of 10.3 litres per 100 Ks for a vehicle this big is pretty good. You can actually average over 1300 kilometres from a full tank of fuel. It is needless to say that this car does have a lot of airbags, really safe for the family being a seven seater, 10 standard airbags and a five star ANCAP safety rating. Moving to the interior of our Sahara, we do have memory seats just here in the door. We've got full electric window controls, well as locking mechanism and a locking mechanism, sorry, and our uh, child lock for the rear back power windows. Moving the steering wheel to the right, we've got our side mirror adjusting down here, as well as our centre diff lock traction control and our parking sensor buttons. On the right control, we've got our indicators and uh, front headlights. And over here, we've got our front and rear windshield wipers. The Sahara is finished with a really nice uh, wood grain uh, insert into the, um, the steering wheel with it leather wrapped all the way around, very comfy to hold. We've got our Bluetooth and uh, buttons here for our voice control, and here's for our media. We've got a little control arm you probably can't see for our cruise control, just hiding at the back over here. Moving across to the center of the car, we've got our trip computer just up the top here. Big clear screen just up here, which is touch screen, really handy to use, nice and easy. You've got your navigation, you've got your, um, your audio audio and your Bluetooth settings all just dialed into that. Underneath we've got all of our buttons for our climate control. Just down from that we've got our uh, CD player here as well as our tuning and power volume with our track buttons just here in the middle. Moving down from this we do have a nice 12 volt socket and USB port with auxiliary port just down there. Moving back from that we've got our off-road driving and gear knob. A little bit of wear around the gear knob but you've got that nice wood finish as well on the knob itself. Opening up this we've got two keys with this car as well as our uh, cup holders. 
bit that wood grain uh, finish does continue all the way around and moving back here we got our nice cool box and really deep center uh, storage just here very handy to have turn it on it can keep everything cool on those really long trips if we look at our passenger seat at wear in this car on the leather um, there's just your typical wear that you'd see on a vehicle like this no tears no gouges nothing like that carpets are in absolutely fantastic condition as is uh, all around the vehicle this car presents very very nicely i'd highly recommend coming down and checking it out for yourself um, not really too much to pick on here one thing i do want to mention is we do have our dvd player in the roof uh, for the people in the back and we do have headsets with this and our remote control as well all still here with the car I'd like to take this time to thank you for watching our walk around video on our Toyota Land Cruiser Sahara. I hope I've answered any questions you had on this vehicle and given you a really good idea on the quality of this vehicle because this car has been very, very well looked after. If you'd like to make a, an appointment to test drive this vehicle or even come down and see it for yourself, please give one of our friendly staff a call on 9907 0555.